Blessed be the name of Jesus Christ. This is Reverend Robert Gatia uh, from Deliverance Church, Mikidani, Mombasa, Kenya. I have. I want to. Uh, I want to welcome you to our first service. I want to welcome you to our first service. Uh, the first service out of our three service, three our uh, first of three, and you will be blessed. I want to. I want you to know that we love you. It is an. It's our second Sunday since the uh, the COVID nineteen has brought everything at hold and people are operating from home. We have been operating from this place now for the last one week or so, and the Lord has been gracious to us. One of the things that amazes me is that God is enthroned in heaven. And it's, and it's so powerful that God can, call, God can call people to go for midweek also, midterm. And people are on midterm. And they are, they are working from home. Schools are learning from home. We have been having a beautiful week with our children uh, doing homeschooling. And then with, uh, with our, own, uh, our own life, spending more time with our spouses and spending more time in our homes. We feel the, the heart of the Lord is upon our life. Mm -hmm. I want you to know everything has a benefit even that kind of lockdown it has its own benefit some of men and women are ever busy never found at home never even resting they have even been told by the doctors to 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 to, uh, to, to reduce activities now they have been forced to reduce it and the lord is always gracious welcome again and i want you to know deliverance church mikidani is the church of choice i want to send my greeting to our churches our our churches in bagra our churches in mazeras mariakani miritini i want to uh, send my greetings to our pastor our our sub region overseer reverend joseph maura all the way from dc migadini god bless you erishadai praise center you are such a blessing we have walked uh, this journey together for quite some time and i want also to thank god and say and, and, and also acknowledge acknowledge our leaders, our our leader, our vision team leaders that have really, really, really worked behind the scene to make us be able to move forward in such a such a big such a such a powerful powerful opportunity to reach you and right there where you are. I want to recommend and appreciate and are proud our our media team. Our media team is on the cutting edge. I want you to know God is not a respecter of person. This young man. They have had a sleepless night working, uh, working day and night to make sure that Reverend Robert Katia and DC Mikidani is preaching the word of the Lord over the continents of the world. I want you to, I want to speak a blessing over their life and pray that uh, that powerful doors open in their life. Our young man that we stay with allowed um, our brother Anthony Anthony Macau and our and our and, our, and, and two dot two our two, two daughters we stay with Patra and Carol at the God bless you for being such a blessing even in this team and and making everything a success. But as I as I want to thank also for the people that have been telling people this is our time for service. I also want to appreciate you wherever you are in your house. I want you to know it's also good to listen to the word of the Lord from the comfort of your home. And I know you are having a Bible, you are having a notebook, and you are ready to do something. I want I want to bless the name of the Lord above everything else to the glory of God. I want to remember that our daughters, wow, you may see them in our second service. They may be saying a poem, uh, 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 um, they, may be, they, they may be reciting a verse here. Rona and Rita, these beautiful girls, they make our days, they make our world become a world a little world. And we are happy about them. Our daughters, we bless them. Our Sunday school uh, children across our um, church, wherever they are at home, I know parents, they are doing something for them. Our Sunday school pastor is working on a material to make sure they uh, they reach they reach our Sunday school our our Sunday school a light in their home light at their home to the glory of God. How I how I say also my wife Reverend Rachel Gatia is on board and she'll be saying hi in a short while. But I want to appreciate her or, uh, in advance because of the great work she has done to prepare the background the decor of this place and we bless the name of the Lord. I I, I forever. Uh, thank God for you. And she will be a powerful speaker in our third service. We have a prophetic service where we shall receive what the Lord is speaking to us during 
this season because God, we are, what we what we have been doing is listening to God. What is God saying? And God has been so gracious to us. I want us to go right to the word to hear to the hearing of the word of God. And I want uh, we are talking about the power of the sent word. I'll take some time and show you the importance of how God said word. And whenever God said word, is because He has a mission and an assignment He wants to accomplish. And this beautiful morning, I want you to know God. God has sent his word, and he has sent his word to, to heal the nations of the world. And, um, and, I, and, I, and, I, and I want to I want to I want to read from the book of Psalms 107 and verses 19 and verses 20. I am reading two important verses. Um, two important verses. Psalms 107, verses 19 and verses 20. You better write this verse, it will help you. I'll take some considerable amount of time to explain to us this verse. Then they cried out to the Lord in their trouble, and he saved them out of all their distress. And before, verses 20 says, he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destruction. This is the word of the Lord today to the church, to the world. I want us to go back to verses 19. And I want, I want us to go back to verses 19. It says, then they cried out, they cried out to the Lord in their trouble. And he saved them out of their distress. People, we have, an, we have been having an opportunity to cry, of, uh, to cry out to the Lord the whole of the week and asking him to speak to us and he has spoken to us and we have come with the word. The Lord will always send our word. Look at what, what happened when we cry unto the Lord. I'm talking about the sent word. Listen to us. Verses 20 says what? Verses 20 say, he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. God has sent his word and he will heal us and he will deliver us from all our destruction. I can I can for sure promise somebody listening to me, wherever you are, in whichever continent, whether you are in Italy or America or Spain or South Korea or North Korea, wherever you are listening to me from, from Asia, from India, from uh, Trinidad and Tobago, from uh, the Cayman Island, from the parts of the world, I want you to know God has sent his word and this Sunday is a Sunday of hearing what has God what have God said with through the word that he has sent I'm here today to speak to somebody's life and you will never be the same again I promise you you will experience a revival you will experience a revival that God has sent his word and we are talking about uh, we are talking about God the power of the sent word and I want to look at the scripture another scripture that is very powerful from the book of Isaiah verses uh, chapter 55 verses 10 and verses 11 wow what a powerful scripture uh, this is Isaiah 55 verses 10 to 11 this is what the Bible says: for as the rain comes down and the snow from heaven and do not return there but waters the earth and make it bring forth and bad that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater. Oh, verses 11, what does it say? Verses 11 say, So shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. It shall not return to me void, but it shall accomplish what I please, and it shall prosper in the thing for which I sent it. Let's remain there. This is what I want you to capture today. This is the message I'm calling for somebody in the hospital bed. This is the message I'm calling in a family that doesn't know what will happen tomorrow. This is the message I have for a, for a, for a leader seated in an office, uh, in an office alone without staff, alone because of social distances. This is what I'm speaking to somebody who parked his, uh, his transport cars and everything at the parking bay and you are seeing loss. This is what I'm, I'm saying. Uh, this is what I want you to hear. You who have a business that you had just started and it was you, you had already be, you had already borrowed money from the bank and you feel as if things the world has come to an end. I am saying to you, 
so shall my word be that goes from or forth from my mouth it shall not return to me void but it shall accomplish what i please and it shall prosper in the thing for which i sent it i want you to know when god said his word his word will prosper in whatever it is sent to. And right now, we are sending the word of the Lord across the souls of men and women across the world that whatever they are going through, Jehovah shall deliver them with his word. I am here to declare to somebody, God has sent his word and he is ready to deliver us from all our pain and our struggle in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Wow, I want you to know, I want you to know, I want you to know, I want you to know something. That the sent word, this is very important for you to note somewhere, that the sent word is effectual in its working. The sent word is effectual in its working. It is like as it is like the stone that David threw that, that brought Goliath down. As you said it, as you said the word, the angels accompany it to bring it to pass. Whenever God said his word, and the Holy Spirit the, and the angels of heaven, they follow that word to effect it or to, to cause it to come to pass in the name of Jesus Christ. I want, to, I want you to carry one word today. I may not say many things today, but I want you to have only one thing that you can take, you can call it carry it home or carry over. And this is carry on. This is your carry on. And this is it, that God's word is powerful. I am here to declare that God's word is powerful. And today we shall speak God's word over this country. And today we shall speak God's words, God's word over this, uh, over the situation and pandemic in our land and through the word of God we shall send away this COVID-19 virus it shall go back to Seda. It shall go back where it came from. It shall be broken and destroyed. Silence and never to have authority again over our land. Are, I am speaking about the God, the power of the sent word. God has sent his word. I want you to know God honors his word more than his name. God honors his word more than his name. I want you to understand something that is very powerful. It is important for us to know that God honors his word more than his name. And I want to read a scripture. I want to, I want to go to a scripture that God will help us to connect with what I am saying. God honors. This is a very important point that God honors his word more than his name. In the book of Psalms 138 and verses 2. Well, Psalms 138 and verses 2. The Bible said, I will worship toward your holy temple and praise your name for your loving kindness and your truth. For you have magnified your word above all your name. I repeat again. I will worship toward your holy temple and praise your name for your loving kindness and your truth. For you have magnified your word above all your name. Imagine the word of God is higher and honored above his name. So when God has sent his word, I want you to know things shall be different. The heart of the Lord, the power of God, heaven back it, heaven back what God says. And I want you to understand something that is very important. The word of God is the supreme court of life. The word of God is the supreme court of life. When you argue with everything, when, you, when things doesn't work on the face of the world, or of the, on the face of the earth, and you have nowhere else to go, the, the supreme court that you can go to save yourself. In Kenya, I see when people take petition for election, to the low court and the high court, when they are not satisfied, when they are not happy, when they feel they have been, the judgment was biased, they go to the Supreme Court. And whatever the Supreme Court says, if it nullifies your election, that is that stand. 
if, it, if they upheld your erection, that stand. I want, to, I want to let somebody listening to me from your office and from your home, wherever you are, the church members, the believers, the people, wherever you are, listen to me and listen to me very well and very good. That the word of the Lord is the supreme court of life. The word of God is the supreme court of life. And whatever it is settled, it is settled, it is final. When God says, I have heard your cry, I have seen your affliction, and I have come to deliver you. That is the final verdict of the supreme spiritual supreme court of law. And today, and no one can appeal upon that word. No one, there is no appeal after the word of the Lord has been spoken. And today we are speaking the word of the Lord. We are saying Kenya is not sinking. And we are saying, as according to the word of the Lord, we shall overcome this as a country together with a Lord with a strong heart and with a strong power. And the devil can do nothing about it. We shall overcome and we shall be a success in the name of the Lord. I want us to read a scripture to confirm what I have told you. That the word of the Lord is the supreme court of, of it is it is our final supreme court of life. This is the, that is the book of Psalms 138 verses 89. Let's read verses 89. I will read several scriptures and I know they will help us. Because the word of the Lord is the power of God. Psalms, Psalms verses 8, what does it say? Psalms, Psalms, I'm reading from the book of Psalms. Can we go to Psalms 119? Psalms 119 verses, Psalms 119 verses 8 and 9. Psalms 119 verses 8 and 9. Yes, this is it. Psalms, one, Psalms 119 verses 8 and 9. This is it. This is it. And, and the Bible says, Forever, O Lord, your word is settled in heaven. In other words, it is the final verdict. It is the supreme court of life. When God has spoken it, God has settled it. When God has said it, God has performed it. So, I declare to this country, I declare to the families of this nation, I declare to every viewer and listener, and I declare to the world today that the word of the Lord is final. And God is dealing with this problem. And it is, he is dealing with it once and for all. Never again will this thing be an issue to us, to the glory of God. How, how I pray. And, and, and the Bible says, the Bible, the Bible is so clear. The word of God is so powerful. The sent one, I'm talking about the sent one. The word of God is not just a composition of statement or verbal, or verbal words that have been spoken by people. The word of God has been tried. The word of God has been proved. That is from the word of, that is the word of God. It is not the word of men. It is not a counsel of people seated somewhere and come up with principles and come up with a treaty. The word of God is not like a treaty. It is not even like a constitution of a nation. People have rejected constitution and, and edited it. People have thrown away the constitution and destroyed their own nation. We have seen it in Africa. We have seen it in the nations of the world, Asia and other places. But I want you to know the word of the Lord, the word of God remaineth powerful on the face of the earth. And this is what the Bible says again. I read another very important scripture from the book of Psalms 12 and verse 6. The book of Psalms 12 and verse 6. What does the Bible say? Say, the words of the Lord are pure words like silver tried in a furnace of the earth. Purified seven times. Hallelujah. Listen to me. The word of the Lord, what I am speaking today, these are what I see people arguing whether God is serious when he was saying this. God was very serious. It is you who is not serious in understanding it. But when you understand what God is saying, he said the, this word of God has been purified seven times. The number, the number seven, it is not only that, it is not just another statistic. Number seven is also a symbol of completeness and perfectness. So when the Bible says that the word of the Lord has been tried seven times, has been purified seven times, it is saying it is beyond reproach. It is beyond uh, addition, uh, being edited. It is, it is final and it is pure and it is like silver and this word 
is the supreme court of life. You need the word of the Lord. And today I'm going to speak the word of God to you. I'm speaking the word of God to you. You will never be the same again. And I want you to know, there is no force that can break the word of God. There is no force that can break, even if parliament, they sit down to discuss, to, dis, to discuss, to dispel the word of God, they will not succeed. The word of God will break that parliament. Even if, even if wishes and, and sorcerers, they gather in the mountain to stop the spread of the word of God, God will scatter them from the mountain and they will not be able to. They cannot break, they cannot, there is no force that can break the word, the word of God. And I want and I want I want us to I want you to know there is no force that can break the word of God. And and I want you also to know, I want you also to know uh, the, uh, that the word of God can break everything. The word of God can break anything. The word of God can break mountain. The word of God can break water and, and people pass through there. The word of God is able to break even a stone and remove water out of it. The word of God, the sent word. God used God have sent word and this sent word has changed cities, has changed nations, have changed uh, human beings, have caused have harbored people. Because the word of God can break even the most proud man on the face of the earth shall be harbored by the word of shall be broken by the word of the Lord. The Bible says brokenness is very important. And what can break a humanity to come and recognize that God is on the throne? It's by the sent word. And we are sending this word across this country, across the continent of Africa, across the nations of the world. And for this word to break the hearts of the king. To break the heart of the of the of, of the celeb, to break the heart of the people that have refused to understand who God is, so that it can break them and they can be able to see who God is. The word of God can break everything. The word of God can break pride. The word of God can break arrogance. The word of God can break ignorance. The word of God can break anything on the face of the earth. If you are looking for something, if there is something so difficult in your life and it has refused to break, I want us to say the word of the Lord too. It will break COVID-19. It will break the ethnicity in our in, our, in in the continent of Africa. It will destroy the poverty, the sicknesses and diseases in Africa in the name of the Lord. It will bring the confusion in Africa away. It shall destroy and smash the ignorance and the confusion in the continent of our or in the continent in, in our in our beautiful continent. And it shall never be the same again because the word of the Lord shall break can break anything. And as I and I have, as I have told you that it can break everything. I want you to know. Each time you encounter God in any area via, the, via his word, you become a God in that area. In the book of John 10, verses 35, John 10, verses 35, what does it say? John 10, verses 35. If he called them gods to whom the word of God came, and the scripture cannot be broken. I have told you, you cannot break the scripture. You cannot break the scripture. There is no parliament. There is no gathering of men. Yes. There is no arrogance of pride. Yeah. There, is no, there is no title of a prophet or a, or a teacher or a, or a senior person. Mm. There is no scientist that can break the word of God. Yeah. And the Bible is saying, and you know the scripture can, cannot be altered. Yes. So if those people who received God's message we are called gods. Imagine, because of receiving the sent word, we are gods. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because of receiving the sent word, this morning I'm talking to God. Because of receiving this word, the sent word, I am here to speak about the sent word. And as I, as I, as I share this word, those that are sick in their home, mm -hmm. I received text, text messages from members of the church and some friends from social network that are sick, and I told them to inbox. Mm -hmm. Because some, sometime on Sunday, we are used to lay hands, and, and we, are, we are used to meet people and talk to them, but today I am going to say the word. Mm -hmm. Why I'm speaking about the sent word yes. is because, because we are keeping social distance. Mm. And even in the midst of the social distance, yes. the word of God shall reach your bedroom. Hallelujah. The word of God shall reach that, that, that hospital bed. Yes. The word of God shall come and, tack, and tackle the issue of your marriage. Mm. The word of God shall come and change the story of your life. Yes. This word 
yes. cannot be broken. Oh. The scripture cannot be broken. I break every cancer through the word of the Lord. I break every migraine headache through the word of the Lord. Yes. I cancel every cell, every demonic cell yes. that have been sent to destroy humanity. Mm. Demonically orchestrated. Yes. In the realm of the spirit, mm. I said the word of the Lord. Yes. And I declare the air of Kenya yes. is healed in Jesus' name. Oh, yes. I cancel virus. Yes. I cancel bacteria. Yes. I cancel germs yes. that have been spreading our air, mm. on our water, mm. in our water, yes. on our soil, yes. I command them to break. Oh. I destroy them oh. by the authority of the sent word. I am here to set the word of the Lord in yes. your bedroom. Oh. Even if you are sick, mm. I decree today yes. by the authority of the sent word, oh. receive your healing. The Bible says from the book of the where we started by reading yes. the, the book of Psalms 107 yes. and verses 19 yes. that then they cried out to the Lord yes. in their trouble oh. and he saved them out of their distress. Yes. I decree no one in distress today. Yes. I am sending the word of the Lord. Yes. Our office that are manning our borders, yes. even that are enforcing the curfew. Okay. I know some of you may be going through distress yes. from, your, from your family, from the place of your work, from harassment from your bosses, or from problems that are going through, even the bosses, even the commanders that are in trouble. I am here today to declare the word of the Lord I am sending you will revive your spirit yes. as you wake up today, as you go and enforce the curfew, yes. as you go and, and take care of our country. I want you to know the word of the Lord shall, shall deliver you from all destruction. All evil assigned destruction against you are hereby broken and are broken by the power that of the sent word. I said the word of God to our children. I said the word of the Lord to our, our high schools. I said the word of the Lord to our hospital beds. I speak to every hospital in this country, both private and public. Both, both local and, and those that are international. Mm. I said the word of the Lord oh, in those corridors. We have been committed. We have been visiting sick people in the hospital. Yes. But today we cannot go. Yes. But we can send the word. Oh. I am sending the word. Oh. The Bible says he sent his word. And they unhealed them. I am sending the word of God in Coast General Hospital. In Mombasa Hospital. In Padia Hospital. In Mewa, in Josham, or in Premier, I am sending the word of the Lord. Kenyatta National Hospital, I am sending the word of the Lord in your hospital bed. I am sending the word of the Lord in India, in the hospitals in India. I am sending the word of the Lord in the Paris of the King or the, or the Queen in England. Even in England, I am sending the word in the Prime Minister office in England. I am sending the word in the president office of China in the US in every corner of the world I am setting the world I am setting the word I said the word of God in the governor's office our 47 governors that are seated to guide our country and our county during this crisis listen to me how God's word will change the situation God sent word I may not come to your office to lay my heart on you I may not anoint you with oil but I can send the word I am here to send the word and he sent his word yes. and healed them yes. and delivered them from their destruction. Yes. I decree destruction yes. that have been assigned against our counties, yes. against our country, yes. against our continent, yes. against the group. That destruction mm. is hereby broken mm. because of the power mm. of the sent word. Yes. The sent word is going to set our country free. Oh, listen to me and listen to me very good. That God is so faithful and his word shall set us free to the glory of God. I'm glad I am able to speak to you. Yes. I'm glad you can listen to me from your office, yes. from your house, yes. from your bedroom, yes. from your sitting room, yes. wherever you are, yes. even if you are walking, yes. because they are not transport. Yes. I am sending the word. The word of the Lord can reach you wherever you are. 
This word will change the world. We don't have to meet in a four-world church. We don't have to meet in a crusade crowd. We don't have to meet in a in other tree. But we can send the word. This word is sendable. This word is powerful. This word can change the life of a man or a woman to the glory of God. The power of the sent word. Hallelujah. The power of the sent word. Listen to me. Any prayer outside God's word is ineffective. And today we will pray according to the word of the Lord. Many people they pray and they pray outside the word of the Lord. When we pray according to the word, we are good. And we can receive answers. The sent word, the power of the sent word. God is moved into action. Listen to me. God is moved into action when his word is set in motion. When we set the word of God in motion, God is moved into action. Just speak the word. You see the God in motion. We have sent the word. We are seeing God in motion. Somebody in your, or somebody sick somewhere. Somebody stay somewhere. God is in motion to the glory of God. The only thing God confirms with the sign and wonders is his word. Did you hear what I said? The only thing that God confirmed, this is, this is very important. You, you better get this. I'm about to come out of your way. I'm about to finish up a sharing with you in our first service. And you'll enjoy. And I know you are getting something. You will never be the same again. This is our, this is our first service. The second service is different. We have a different message. Today we shall hear God. And we must move by this sent word. What a powerful message for you today. How I, how, I, how I pray that you will capture this word and change your story. And I have told you a very important, a very important principle that the only thing that God confirmed with the sign and word us is his word. The book of Mark chapter 16 and verses 20. The book of Mark chapter 16 and verses 20. Wow. And they went out and preached everywhere. The Lord working with them and confirming the word through the accompanying signs. Amen. Look for another version. Oh, hallelujah. Look at this. New Living Translation says, And the disciple went everywhere and preached and the Lord worked through them, confirming what they said by many miraculous signs. God, the only thing that God confirmed with the signs and waters, with the, with, the, with the sign following, is his word. And I want you to know, as I am speaking this word, they are, follow, they are sign following. If you are sick, by the end of the service, you will be healed. If you are tired and discouraged, yes. if you are in a state of trauma, mm. stress, mm. and anxiety disorder, mm. you are going to be well. A sign is following in the name of the Lord because I have sent the word. All you need is to listen to what I am saying. And then this is the word of the Lord. Whenever the word of God is, is sent, it is a camp, it is, you, you prove it. One of the evidence that the word of God was spoken is the sign that follow that word. You will never be the same again to the glory of God. I have told you again and that the only thing, the only thing that God confirmed with the sign and waters is his word. And today, he will confirm what I have preached to us this morning with, his, with, with the signs and waters in the name of the Lord. You will hear good news from this country. You will hear good news from the world at large this pandemic will disappear. Yes. It cannot stay any longer. Yes. We deny it access on the face of the earth. Yes. We command it to lose its grip from our air, water, and the land. Yes. We decree that we are secure in the heart of the Lord. And we said the word of the Lord. And we said the word of the Lord. And we decree, I decree, and I pray today that the Lord may confirm his word in your life with the sign following in Jesus' name. May the Lord confirm his word with the sign following. And may the word of God you receive make you a wada 
in this generation. May this generation know you have received the word of the Lord. I come to you again and I want to remind you that the sent one is what we need. Mm. I have sent the word of the Lord to you. I have sent the word of the Lord to you today, this beautiful morning, and I decree that you are blessed yes. from the top of your head mm. to the toe of your feet yes. and your life will never be the same again. Yes. How I pray yes. that God will confirm yes. his word yes. with his sign yes. and wonders. Oh. I am waiting for a testimony from you. I believe that God is doing a new thing. Something is about to happen to the glory of God. How I pray that the heart of the Lord is, is upon your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I want you to know that this is the hour, this is the minute, this is the season. May the Lord be sure to bless you. Yes. I want to pray for you. Yes. I want you to I, I want I, I want you to believe God together with me. Yes. I want you to believe God together with me. Where you are seated mm. and where you are studying or wherever you are, I want you to know miracles are happening. Yes. The saint word will change your story. Yes. Receive the miracle. Receive the miracle today. Receive the miracle today. Yes. I want to believe God with you over, uh, over, over that idea, over that stress, over that battles that you are fighting. Mm. And I want you to know God will do something in the name of the Lord. Mm. Listen to me and listen to me very well. I want to pray for you. I want to, I want to welcome you to the, uh, to the presence of, of God. I want, I, want, I, want, I want to believe God of, over, over your life. Mm. Could you be there and you are asking God, God said a word in my situation, said a word over my child, said a word over my company, said a word over my life, my marriage, that I need a word from you, the sent word. I am looking for a miracle for the sent word. I want you to know to the glory of God that God is sending a word. And this is, I'm a servant of God and God has given me money to send a word, uh, his word through this media and you will never be the same again. Mm. And to the glory of God, mm. I want to pray for you. Yes. Could you have listened to this word? Mm. You are not born again. Mm. You have been saying one day you will give your life to Christ. Mm. We are living in days that we need Jesus more than ever before. We don't know when the end will come. It may not be today, it may not be tomorrow. It may not even be in five years or two. I don't know when because nobody knows. But uh, that is a subject of another day. But I want you to know it is important to, 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 to put yourself, to keep yourself right with God so that you can connect with God. Listen to me and listen to me very good. I want to pray for you. Repeat after me. Lord Jesus, I come to you. Forgive my sin and write my name in the book of life. Erase it from the book of death. Make me your child and let me live for you. Cleanse me with your precious blood. And Holy Spirit, help me to put my faith and my trust in your word, in the word of the Lord. I decree that I will follow Christ. In Jesus' name, so shall it be. Amen. Father, I bless the men and the women that have believed in the word of the Lord, that have preached this morning, even those that have committed themselves individually to give their life to you. I cover them with the blood of Jesus. I pray for a healing. I pray for a restoration. I pray for I, I pray for deliverance. I pray for your word. I said your word in their situation. Let them experience the power of the sent word. Light in their family. Light in their home. I pray that Jehovah God, you will touch them and heal them. In Jesus' name, so shall it be. I want you to know you are now born again. Look for a Bible-believing church. Look for a church that believes and teaches the Bible as the basis of their, of, of their ministry. And, and inbox us, we can assist you wherever you are, in whichever country, in whichever city, in whichever town. I want you to know it is possible for us to help you in Jesus' name. And I want also to encourage the pastors and the bishops and the men of God that are watching me on this cast, and you could be having a challenge of setting a life cast like this. I have young men that have done this and they have assisted other people. I can tell you for sure they can help you to be able to preach life wherever you are. 
All you need is to hit our inbox. Hit our inbox and say we need your assistant. Even if it is consultation, even if it is how to uh, how to set up a life cast for an, a, a life cast that is work, that, that you can be able to reach your people and have meeting with your people. It is possible for us to help you. We are here for you. We love you so very much. I am praying for pastors, whatever they are. I remember the pastors in the villages, the pastors in the rural area. I am a born, I'm born from a village and from a rural area. And the Lord has been gracious to us. And I know even our church in the village is going life. Our churches in the rural area, they are coming up life. Because God will not do anything. There is nothing that comes as a surprise to God. It has always been there, and God has always been faithful to the glory of God. I want you to, I, I want you, I, I, I want you to know, I, I, I want you to, I, I want you to know that God is faithful. I, I want before we go to, we, we, as we as we go to finish up and and welcome you and welcome you to like our page. Keep liking our page. Invite your friend to like our page. Let as many men and women listen to this word. I am telling you the truth. I have been praying for you. And God has been so faithful. Let your family members, your friend that do not go to church. This is time to capture even those people who don't go to church. They will listen to the word of the Lord. The TV, the airwave. God has opened the airwave. And, and the way I have been delivered from the powers of darkness, it is now used by the church. We are sanitizing our airwaves in the name of the Lord. In the realm of the Spirit right now, it is very clean because prayers and worship and songs and preaching, evangelistic and prophetic, teaching and pastoral teaching, they are all over in the air. The air is saturated with the truth of the word of the Lord. How I thank God for you that I'm proud to have pastored you this morning. You are welcome and God bless you. I want you to, be, I want you to receive greeting from Reverend Rachel Gatia. She will be speaking to you in our third service exactly at 11. She has a very nice prophetic word, a, a, prof, a, a prophetic word that is from the Lord. And it is good to work with your spouse if you are married and your, your wife has been called in ministry. There is something she carries for God. I want you to know. There is no condemnation. Give her that platform to speak to the world because the world need her voice and the world will be better tomorrow when you have such a, an arrangement and God will bless you. Help me welcome my beautiful wife, Reverend Rachel Gatia, here on board to come and say hi to you and welcome you even to our second service and our third service and you will never be the same again. I want to appreciate you for listening to us. Then we shall be paying our, we shall be giving our offering, paying our tithe and, uh, and, and committing ourselves to the project and the Lord will minister to us. We are also helping very, very needy people in, in our, we have a feeding program called Dominion Care and by we, in the course of the week we will tell you what it is. We are reaching these children, we give them we give them food together with their family. Anyone who is able to donate or to start with a family that is in need, you can you can bring food in term, you can bring food in terms of food. And we thank God for Serve International. Serve International. Thank you for the food you gave and we have been able to feed families in Mikidani, in, in, in Bangladesh in Ganahora, in Aldina, and even some at Mazeras. And, and now we are looking forward to continue helping the needy. God bless you. Listen to us. Welcome to, uh, welcome, come and listen to uh, uh, Reverend Rachel so that she can speak to us and the Lord will minister to, the Lord will minister to you, the Lord will minister to you. Here she is. Welcome her with a, with a, with a, well, well, welcome, welcome, well, welcome, Reverend Rachel, so that she can say hi to you and the Lord will bless you. What a blessing to have you on board. I love you so very much. Welcome and God bless you. Amen. Glory to God and hallelujah. I thank God for that word. That was my word. I need the sent word. I need the word of God. I know it's going to work in your life. I thank God for my husband, Reverend Robert Gatia, and the Spirit of God upon him, and the oil of God upon him. I thank God for even the special anointed message that we have had today. I know my life will not be the same again, and your lives will not be the same again. Welcome to our Deliverance Church Online, now going forward. It has been more than 17 days since we had the first news on the TV with our Minister for Health telling us that things are changing. Coronavirus has come to Kenya, but guess what? You're alive. Guess what? You're well. Guess what? You have been eating. The Word of God is still doing something in your life. Go deeper. 
ask more. Go further, and the word of God is going to sustain us. I welcome you again to our second service with our Reverend Robert Gatia, the anointed man, senior pastor at Women's Church Mikindani, and our third service with a prophetic word. This is your church. In the mighty name of Jesus, God bless you. Amen and amen. Wow, 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 wow. What a blessing to have you. We want to bless the Lord with our, with our offering. We want, to, we want to give our offering. We want to give our... We, we are Bible believers and we know the word of the Lord. We, 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 we know what we are supposed to do as a church. We believe uh, every worship, it involves giving our offering, uh, paying our tithe, and honoring our pledges. Because at churches, we are always... More uh, serving, and I and I repeat this. I always repeat this when I tell people to give offering and to pledge, and even to support the work of the uh, and, and even to support the work the work of the ministry. I tell I tell I tell people that the church is the only institution that work for the benefit for the good of the people that are not member that are not that are that, that are not members. We work for non, we work for the good of non members. We go to preach outside there to win people that we don't know. Come and and come and be, and and grow them and we need we are always involved and it is part of us to wash as we worship as we worship God I want you to know that that we have our we have our pay bill we have our we are we have our till number by buying good and services we can go there and and go to the till number five three eight two six eight when you click that number and you click the amount you will see uh deliverance church make it done then we also have a PayPal. PayPal, those people that are in Kenya and you know what PayPal is. We have a, a PayPal account that we have been operating for more than one year or so. And this PayPal account is a is a, is one of the one of the easiest way for those who understand what how PayPal works. You can you can pay, you can give your offering through PayPal, you can pay your tithe through PayPal, and all you need is go to the PayPal app or PayPal through through Google, and then you when it says say, then you say said, then you go to info at dcmikidani.org that is our account that is our that is our that is our address for paying our giving offering through paypal if you want to if you want how to open a paypal i told you i have a media team that is so, that, that is doing something to assist the church to become a digital church you don't have to go to line up again in the bank or line up in giving offering you can use digital platform to buy things online it is possible we are here for you the lord literally bless you i want you to know this week this week we are still assisting people we are still assisting people to do uh, to, uh, to to do live cast in their churches we are helping so many kind of people and god has been gracious i want to thank our two uh the team the lead the, the media team our our team leader uh, uh our, our team our team leader alan yegon and 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 master Radiki, and the rest that are working behind God bless you for doing this powerful work. Thank you for your sacrifice. May the Lord ever remember you. They have a number. They, they have a, num a, a number. You can even call this number. You can call my number to, for, to, assist, to assist you. We can assist you through this number. Plus 254-722-214123. Plus 254-722-214123. Two one four one two three. That is the that is my number. That is the number you can get me. You can call me. We can talk with you, and I know the Lord will remember you. That is my number. You can have it. You have it now. You can get that number. Talk to me. We will assist you. If you are a pastor, you are struggling to go live, and there is something that you need some uh, some 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 uh, it it help. We have we have people who can help you, and. We'll do it because that is our call, and God has been gracious to us. The Lord is uh, the Lord is the Lord is gracious. That is Reverend Robert Gatia once again, Deliverance Church, Mikidani, Mombasa, Kenya, the place to be. And when we come back, we will still meet there and and serve the Lord. I want to release you now so that we can have a break and come for second service. Our second service starts at nine at nine at nine at nine some at nine fifteen. We are we, we will always have like fifteen minutes of 
putting things in place. Uh, and God is God is good. It is supposed to start at nine, but we will be starting at nine at nine fifteen. And the Lord will bless you. I want us to say the words of grace, and then lead us you. I declare that you are you are blessed from the top of your head yes. to the toe of your feet. Yes. You are going out and you are coming in yes. is blessed. Hallelujah. And I decree there is no curse. Mm. There is no evil word. Mm. There is no evil pronunciation. Mm. Evil excitement mm. or incantation mm. spoken against you, mm. hanging in the air mm. that can carry the day, that can that can see the light of the day. Yes. I cover you with the precious blood of Jesus yes. and deploy guardian angels yes. to guard you as uh, to guard you in every aspects of life. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ, I bless this country. Mm. I pray for the blessings of God mm. over this nation mm. to the glory of God. Mm. God bless you and God do you good. Mm. And the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen and amen. Hallelujah.